It seems like Meghan Markle's PR team is facing some challenges in portraying her in a positive light. Every release from them seems to backfire, making Meghan appear increasingly laughable and pathetic. Let's dive into the latest photo released by Backgrid. In this photo, Meghan was spotted driving her car for the second time in less than a week, making a stop at an in out a fast food place near her and Harry's Montecito home. She wore her signature grin and waited for her food in her $140,000 Black Range Rover. Meghan had on sunglasses and her hair pulled back in a ponytail, suggesting she had driven there from their supposed $18 million Malibu property. Now, some claim that a fan working at Inenna took this photo. However, that theory seems far-fetched. It's unlikely that fast food employees carry long lens cameras to work. Besides, the angles and views in the photos suggest a professional photographer rather than a chance snapshot by a fan. What's interesting is that Meghan often appears in paparazzi shots when another member of the British royal family, especially Harry, is making headlines for something else. This pattern of behavior raises questions about her motivations. But beyond the photo, it's hard to ignore the fact that Meghan is starting to look her age. She appears closer to 46 or 47 than her claimed age of 42. Deep smile lines are a clear indication that age is catching up with her. This situation leaves us wondering about the future of Harry and Meghan's relationship. They seem to want different things in life. Meghan craves fame, attention, and money, while Harry seems to desire a quieter life. She is nothing without husband Prince Harry. Royal fans have reacted as she jetted off to join the Duke in Germany for Invictus Games. Commenting on Daily Express report titled, Meghan Markle jets off to join Prince Harry at the Dusselford Invictus Games, one fan said difficult for her to accept that it's Harry not her who is the celebrity in this twosome. Without H, she is nothing. Why fly into the UK? I'm sure there are direct flights. It's just more PR stunts and photo a call, said another. The third commented, this was probably the plan all along. Send Harry out first to test the waters. If he's received warmly, with plenty of praise and photo ops, then she'll join him and bask in the glory. If H wasn't well received, boot etc., she'd stay away. Same thing happened with the PR campaign on the release of Spare. Also for the coronation. Any hint she might get booed, and you won't see her for dust even seems to be adopting classic crisis communications recovery strategy by using Prince Harry's event to mark her major return to limelight. Duchess of Sussex will try to fix her image in the eyes of public which was strained by her and Prince Harry's scathing Netflix documentary Harry Meghan. Speaking of Meghan's current strategy, crisis communications expert Andy Barr told The Mirror, it looks like Meghan Markle has deployed a classic crisis communications recovery strategy. Although she wasn't involved directly in any significant issues, the drama around the Netflix documentary would cause even the thickest skinned people distress, she added. Crisis Comms 101 is to take a significant chunk of time out of the media spotlight before then returning with a high profile event. This is clearly what she is now doing to support Harry to show a united front.